origin of the mechanical clock. Our journey begins with Zhang Heng, a polymath of the Han dynasty. In the second century, he envisioned a world where celestial movements could be tracked mechanically. The result? A water-driven armillary sphere, where flowing water turned gears. This sphere was not just an astronomical marvel, but also marked one of the earliest instances of a mechanical approach to timekeeping. But it wasn't just water that the Chinese used to mark the passage of time. The aromatic wisps of incense as they burnt also became times markers. Incense clocks, with their calibrated burning rates, offered a sensory experience of time's passage, blending scent and sight. Fast forward to the Song dynasty, and the baton of innovation was picked up by Su Song. In 1088, the city of Kaifeng beheld a marvel, a towering astronomical clock driven by a grand water wheel. As water flowed, gears turned, and an armillary sphere on the tower's exterior mirrored the dance of the stars. Every hour, puppet-like figures emerged to mark the time with bells and drums, intertwining mechanics with performance. The brilliance of Chinese horology didn't stay confined to its borders. Through the Silk Road and maritime trade routes, intricate timekeeping concepts found their way to the Arab world and eventually to Europe. This dissemination saw the fusion and evolution of ideas, with the mechanical principles of Chinese clockmaking influencing European tower clocks and the broader horological landscape. Today, as we glance at the ticking hands of our wristwatches or hear the chimes of a grand clock tower, a whisper of that legacy harks back to the ancient streets of Han China and the intricate mechanics of the Song Dynasty. China's monumental contributions to horology stand as a testament to human creativity, precision, and our eternal endeavor to harness the flow of time. Every tick and every moment we experience echoes ancient China's ingenious spirit, shaping how we quantify time. And that is the origin of the mechanical clock.